Can the Russell Wilson defenders, you Jason, you live, can y'all stop? Russell Wilson. I'm not saying he's the greatest ever. I'm never going to make that argument one way or another. But we have seen such ridiculously incompetent coaching on the part of Sean Payton. We have seen such terrible coaching on the part of Vance Joseph. I'm not holding any of those players, any of those players accountable for the mess that we see at one and five. Russell Wilson's numbers have been consistent. If you thought a 34 year old quarterback was going to fill all the holes in your team, I got something else to tell you. You're not going to do that. The team's got Swiss cheese issues. To me, Russell Wilson doesn't deserve scrutiny as a quarterback himself because he's a type of quarterback. He's excellent. He's got the skill. He's got the talent, but he needs to be plugged into an already successful system. I'm talking defense, coaching, offense, front office, everything. People were still blaming Wilson when he was putting up excellent numbers in the first five games of the season. He has one bad game and everyone's like, Russ, Russ, Russ. It's been about Russ. We've been making it about Russell Wilson this whole season and Russ hasn't even been the problem. Yeah, and listen, I think we're, we're, we're steady, uh, you know, climbing. You know, it's, it's climbing a mountain's not easy. Um, you know that there's going to be bumps in the way and there's going to be stuff that um, it's going to try to knock you off, but we just got to stay focused on the, on the peak and stay focused on what we're trying to do. I told the guys in the huddle the la before the last knee, stay, stay humble and hungry. Let's keep going. Uh, we're not even at our best yet, and uh, that's a good thing. All right. Listen, um, it, it would be more appropriate if I were in the middle, so I could say I'm flanked by Broncos defenders, Broncos Russell apologists, We've got live moves. We got Dr. Dr. Jason Johnson. So go ahead. Y'all told me so. Hey, Doc, you go. You go first. You go first. What do you want to say about your boy Russell Wilson? What do you want to say about the Broncos? You know what? Russell's been compared to a lot of people. He's been compared to a cornball. He's he's been compared to future. He's been compared to Aaron Rodgers, Warren Moon. I want to compare him to Mike Jones because everybody thought he was done. <laughs> And now everybody <laughs> wants him. He's Mike Jones, y'all. He's the Mike Jones of the NFL. I told you. I told you, Holly. I told people on X, which we all know Twitter, because my mama called it Twitter, and I'm going to call it Twitter. I have said throughout this season, Russell Wilson wasn't the problem. I've said he has played consistent, if not occasionally, occasionally spectacular football. And what happened? Everybody jumped on him. Everybody was happy. They were throwing dirt on the man. They were dancing a jig. And now you see that his play has stayed consistent, but the rest of the team has finally stepped up. A relative nobody like right. Sutton is suddenly making Tyler Lockett catches. Okay, now the defense actually looks competent. Sean Payton, who did everything short of back over Russell Wilson's knee with a truck trying to cover his own incompetence for the first five or six weeks, yeah. is now occasionally saying maybe Russell isn't terrible. I always knew this was going to happen, but I got to tell you guys, because this is key, there's no guarantee that this team is going to make the playoffs, but I always thought that Russell Wilson and the Broncos were better than they were playing, and they needed better coaching, better discipline, better organization, and in an AFC, that is a complete mess right now. And with a Kansas City Chiefs team that, quite frankly, is missing Eric Bieniemy, so they can't get their offense together, if you tell me that there's a chance that the Broncos could end up winning the AFC West, I wouldn't call you crazy today. Ha, ha, ha. Liv, oh, take it from there. Liv, ooh. Yeah. Hey, I mean, listen. I, you, you, I, you seeing it? I'm seeing it. I mean, listen, back, throw back to the clip that we just watched of me however many weeks ago saying that this is the type of quarterback that basically got thrown into a hot mess of a situation. You know, there's a lot of quarterbacks that get put on teams where the only missing piece is the quarterback. The only missing piece of the puzzle is the quarterback. And I can tell you as a Broncos fan, that was not the only missing piece. We had a lot of things that needed to be fixed. Sean Payton had a lot of messes to clean up that were not his own. Uh, Vance Joseph had a very, you know, big job of, of keeping a defense that has been a top 10 defense for what feels like forever um, and maintaining that when you've got guys that aren't checked in, they're not locked in. I mean, we were seeing guys in the locker room in, in post game interviews, just defeated. And it's hard. I can't imagine being a coach and having to try to not only 
coach, but also motivate. You really can't teach motivation. Uh, it, it's got to come from from within. So I think that there were a lot of messes that had to be cleaned up when Sean Payton joined. I think a lot of Broncos fans and just football watchers in general kind of expected too much too soon. I am totally guilty of that. But when you pay as much money as we paid, uh, you, you know, you're kind of like, all right, let's get to it. I'm sick of waiting around. Let's get some wins. But shout out Vance Joseph, first of all, because to me, the defense okay. was a much larger right. issue than Russell Wilson in the offense, because honestly, they were the fall guys, the offense, mostly Russell Wilson. But to me, defensively, it that was more of a hot mess than anything else. And okay. since week six, starting week six, we know one and five start to the season. So following that, this Vance Joseph defense is averaging 15 points, okay. giving up 15 points on hmm. average a game. That is significantly different than okay. hello Miami Dolphins game where it was an hey, absolute hey, hey, disaster. Hey. So hmm. there have been a lot of things turned okay. around. But to uh, me, none of which uh, were Russell Wilson. Uh, Russell Wilson has not made okay. this sharp turn, and okay. all of a sudden, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. he's okay. been doing. Now listen, that. everybody else turned hey, around. Hey, Doc, That's Doc, the I heard, I heard, I heard Liv say, "Shout out Vance Joseph," and, and to my ear, that's fifty percent of the download is fifty percent complete, because that's Vance Joseph getting a little, <laughs> hey, shout out to you. But I heard you in that uh, clip from weeks ago talk about the terrible coaching of Sean Payton. Doc, are you willing to say that? Sean Payton has done a good job. You want to give a shout out to Sean Payton for turning this operation around. Michael Holly, thank you for asking me that question because I 100% want to say no, no, oh. because if we're going to say that Russell Wilson <laughs> needs to perform at the level which he's paid. Sean Payton needed to perform at the level sure. which he was paid. He is one of the highest paid coaches in the NFL and only managed to get one championship out of Hall of Famer Drew Brees and a lot of other great players. This is what Sean Payton was supposed to do. The problem is he was talking cash supposed money nonsense when he came in because he thought it was going to be easy and he had to actually put some work in. But I, I want to put this in, in a larger context of what we see with Wilson right now, guys, because I think this is a important in the same way that the one loss by 70 50 points or whatever it is to the Miami Dolphins did not completely define the Broncos season that also didn't define Miami season we see Miami ain't as great as that particular game right and we realize yeah. that the Broncos right. weren't as bad as that right. particular yeah. loss in the same way right. that people criticize Russell Wilson say hey I don't know if he's got leadership and everything else like that what have we seen malcontents like Jerry Judy have now been exposed for the malcontent that he always was he doesn't run routes well he's not reliable he's not consistent somebody like Sutton who's been quiet throughout his career is had 10 touchdowns 10 touchdowns in week 14 making catches that we haven't seen since Jerry Rice and also look back on the team that supposedly won the divorce. I'm a Seattle Seahawks fan. I have no faith in my team right now. Why? Because they don't have any leadership. You got DK Metcalf suplexing people like he's the new reincarnation of the rock because they don't have a leader who's <laughs> running that squad saying hey everybody stay cool and stay neutral. So this isn't just a reflection of Russell Wilson finally getting the props that he deserved. There is a domino effect throughout the league Good. of what happens when a brother finally gets like the respect it. that he deserved and it's not always being uh, lumped on top of the coach hey, who doesn't deserve half the credit that he was always given. Hey, thank you for watching Brother from Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.